to start having a war. Take a second here while we're waiting for our next race, which will be the men's collegiate JV grand final. That's event number 72. Taking a look back at the men's collegiate varsity invitational petite final, in which we had a couple of outstanding finishes. The official lineup of finish was Temple University as the winner and then extremely tight between the University of California, San Diego in second, UC Davis in third, Michigan in fourth, and University of San Diego in that fifth position. One of our more exciting races during the day today. We are waiting, race number 72, the men's collegiate JV grand final, as we welcome a second band to our venue. USC has brought their group down here and uh, now we have the group from Stanford also uh, cheering on their crews on the water today. May have misstated there, the next event is event number 71. It is the Women's Collegiate JV Grand Final. We have all boats waiting at the starting line in the stake boats as we are doing our final alignment in this women's JV Grand Final. We are within a minute of the start. Again, I can't emphasize enough how picture perfect of a day it is for our race conditions. Wind is still, there is no current. Beautiful Virginia sunshine. A. Washington State. Virginia B, UCLA, Radcliffe, USC, attention, stop, go. That's the start of the women's collegiate junior varsity. All boats clear the state boats. And at the 100 meter mark, your early leader is lane one, Virginia A, rowing at 42 strokes a minute. Then Virginia B and Washington State, bow ball to bow ball in a very tight race at this point. It is all boats within a seat and a half across the field. First boat, the 250 meter mark. We'll be, we're looking outside, or we're looking all the way out at USC, as punched out in front by two seats over Virginia B. Virginia B and Virginia A, all the rest of the boats are relatively level. Washington State, UCLA. But it, your early leader at the 300 meter mark is USC. USC outside in lane six. Settling down, striking comfortably. Three seats over Virginia B in lane three. Maintaining a seat over Virginia A in lane one and UCLA and Radcliffe. First to the 500 is USC. Virginia B and A both came across in second place level, followed by Radcliffe and Was uh, UCLA and Washington State. USC, your early leader outside lane six at 35 and a half, still maintaining two seats. And here comes Virginia B making a push into them. All boats with complete overlap at this point. Virginia A down in lane one, also striking about the same, has now pushed in front of their cohorts in two in lane three, so it is USC, two seats over Virginia A down here in lane one, followed by Virginia B in lane three, outside to Radcliffe, just a half a deck down, followed by Washington State, UCLA. And at the 750 meter mark, USC came across first with Virginia A and B, and Radcliffe making a push. All boats are within half a length of each other, 
And that is your call from the 750 meter mark. This is the Women's Collegiate JV Grand Final, event number 71. And we are looking at lane assignments quickly. University of Virginia A crew in lane number one, currently battling for the lead. Washington State University in lane two. In lane three is the other edition of the University of Virginia. It is their B crew. In lane four, UCLA. In lane five, Radcliffe. And in lane number six, and our current leader, the University of Southern California, USC. Yes, Alan, uh, University of Virginia have two crews in this, presumably their first, sorry, their second and third varsity boats. Uh, but yesterday it was the B boat, which may or may not be their third varsity, that did a time six seconds faster than their A boat. Uh, that puts Virginia B and USC, who are in lane six here, as having done the same time yesterday. So this could be a very tight race because uh, the A boat will be wanting to get uh, the advantage over their B-boat and Washington State and UCLA are going to be right in this as well. Our current leader continues to be on the far outside, USC. However, along the shoreline, Virginia A has made a move with about 750 meters to go. In lane number three, the Virginia B crew certainly holding in there washington state university trailing somewhat as is the ucla crew yes alan looks like the uh, virginia a boat presumably their second varsity have decided that they need to show their their b boat a thing or two because they've certainly powered it on in the third 500 and they appear to have taken a reasonably significant lead coming up to the 500 meter mark. This is Virginia A along the shoreline. They're being challenged on the far outside by USC. In the middle of the pack, it is the Virginia B boat. Washington State has put on a little push. On the outside is Radcliffe and UCLA. USC on the outside and Virginia A on the near side and that's where the contest is going on right now. The Virginia B is trying to stick with it as is Washington State and then comes Radcliffe and UCLA. Virginia A along the shore all the way on the outside USC Virginia B in the middle of the field, and they're being challenged now by Washington State in lane number two. In fact, as these crews come down into the final 250, nobody's really moved on each other, and we're starting to see the race concertina together. But look at that crew on the outside. If there's a crew moving, then it's the crew on the outside. That's USC. So it's going to be difficult to tell till they come past us, but it's Virginia A and USC. We're going to call it red right bow marker to bow marker. USC on the outside, Virginia A on the inside. Once again, we'll get the slight edge this time to USC on the outside, Virginia on the inside. There is not even a bow marker's difference between them. Washington State has jumped up in that third position, followed by Virginia B. On the near side, it's Virginia A. On the outside, it's USC. Virginia A, near side, USC on the far outside. They are coming down stroke for stroke, bow marker to bow marker. Near side, Virginia A, outside, USC. And unofficially, we will give it to Virginia A along the shoreline as USC put on a furious charge. Also in the hunt was Washington State. Take another close look at it. The near side crew is going to be Virginia. Their A crew on the outside, that is USC. And the race will be between those two as they come swiftly down towards our finish line. And once again, unofficially, it appears that the Virginia A crew did get in and pick up the win, followed very closely by the University of Southern California with Washington State and Virginia B boats putting on furious challenges at the end of the Women's Collegiate JV Grand Final.
Well, we up here gave the nod to.